Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. Today we're going to be reviewing pathogenesis of primary hyperaldosteronism. So we have another video which we explain the uh, zonas of the of the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla um, function, okay, or the hormones that produce. But now in this one we're going to focus in the primary hyperlysonism before we continue I would like to share with you Romans 12 21 and says that do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good so that's mean that if someone do something evil against us we should pay doing good to them by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ let's just talk, continue, uh, talk about hyperlysonism primary so how we can remember that we have your kidney here so it's your kidney okay and then your it's your kidney okay and then your kidney um, has something on the top sitting on the kidney and this one here and this is your adrenal uh, gland okay so this is your adrenal gland okay so <clears throat> so what's happened here well that is going to be um well the kidney has the ureter you know and the, all those things and they have the vessels so for example has uh you know vein and you know, artery okay so those are the vessels now aldosterone so and then something is going to come inside of the kidney and three things are coming out of the kidney okay one two and three okay so what is coming inside of the kidney is going to be aldosterone so aldosterone so aldosterone <coughs> is produced in the adrenal cortex in the zona glomerulosa so you remember the three zones of the of the adrenal gland, yes. So glomerulosa, fascicular, and reticularis. So zona glomerulosa produce aldosterone. So since this patient has, for example, hyperaldosteronism, why the patient has hyperaldosteronism? Because the patient can get a bilateral nodular hyperplasia. Okay. Or the patient has hyperfunctioning adrenadenoma. Adrenal adenoma. And then this is uh, okay, so this will happen here. And then it's going to cause this here, go to the aldosterone, and the aldosterone is going to be high. Okay, so this is the cause of high levels of aldosterone okay <clears throat> now these high levels of aldosterone is going to enter into your kidney <clears throat> and then your kidney is going to have reabsorption okay so you're going to have <clears throat> reabsorption reabsorption and reabsorption let's just say reabsorption of what so the one that we're going to be is low potassium reabsorption low hydrogen reabsorption and increase your sodium reabsorption <clears throat> so that's mean that you're going to reabsorb low potassium low hydrogen but you're going to absorb, reabsorb a plenty of sodium. And then what is the consequences of each of those? So, well, let's just see. So, if you are reabsorbing low potassium in your kidney, um, if you are running, if you are running low potassium in your kidney reabsorption, so the patient can get um, hypokalemia, Patient can get hypo. Let me just do it in red because it's part of the pathology. 
Okay. So the patient has a uh, if the patient has um hydrogen which is not being reabsorbed is low reabsorption to hydrogen the patient can get metabolic alkalosis. And because you're reabsorbing too much sodium, you can get hypertension. Hypertension because increase your blood volume. Okay, and then this is going to lead to what? To decrease your renin. Okay, and also it's going to decrease your angiotensin too. Geo tensin two. Okay, so now all this is over there and then needs to go to cross, okay. So now this hypertension which is increase your volume, what's going to cause? It's going to increase your renal blood flow. Going to increase your renal blood flow is going to increase um, your glomerular filtration rate. It's going to increase your atrial diuretic peptide. So I will move this a little bit because I need some more room to the right. So I'm gonna just move it here. Yeah, right there this is good. And now let's just fix this here. Okay, so so this blood volume go there, okay? And then so what's happened so all this is going to cause something all <clears throat> this three is going to increase your sodium excretion okay and here we have your Here we have your aldosterone escape. The aldosterone escapes is going to limit limits edema and limits hyponatremia. Got it. Yeah, so basically, all those that are, um, yeah, so, so this one here, I'll just put in a box, and then each of those, I'll just put inside the box. Okay, it's okay, right there. Um, Okay, so that we can just get an idea and yeah, and this one, so this is the sequence of red. Okay, and Yeah. So basically, um, this is pathogenesis of primary hyperaldosteronism and aldosterone escape. And aldosterone escape. Got it. 
cool. Well, thank you so much for watching, and remember we're going to do all things through, uh, through Christ who strengthens us. God bless you.